No shame. No regrets. No second thoughts whatsoever. All the people I thought I could trust, a little more than liars. People trying to keep me from the truth. The truth behind everything. The truth behind my greatest case. Now that I've got these traitors out of my life, I need to get to the truth, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes, I need to solve this once and for all, or else everything I've worked for will all be for nothing. All these weeks, all these long nights, all these misdirections and charades and betrayals. It all leads to this. It all leads to stopping Hector, finally, for the last time. It can all finally end when I see that sick scumbag in a nice, cold prison cell. Of course, the matter now is finding the sick scumbag in question. Judging by his previous hideout, he's likely in a warehouse of some kind, likely one owned by Heracles Engineering. Though, it might not be. There's a possibility he accounted for the fact I'd narrowed down the likelihood of him staying in an old Heracles warehouse, so it's not out of question that he could have rented a warehouse somewhere else in town. But there's a million of those. Hmm. Oh, his old workshop. Last I heard, it was still abandoned unless Detective Riggs decided to check out the place that I told him to. Maybe Hector left behind some kind of clue that I could find, something I could use. Oh, oh. why didn't I think of this before? I'll have to tell Elsie about this one after I find the clues, that is. <laughs> yeah, she'll be impressed then. Quietly, cautiously, I approached the outskirts of Hector's old lab. It held clues, ones that would hopefully be the last thing to tie up this mystery once and for all. From the looks of things, the place seemed abandoned, but I couldn't be sure. Needed to keep on my guard. Who knows what Hector would throw at me next. Still, the only thing that seemed to remain here was dust. Just you, kid! You know, if anybody should be sorry, it's me. Call me Cass. And memories. Ah! Stupid arm. Where is that office again? This way? Yeah. This way, I hope. You great names. Kathleen needs us right now. Are you going to let him get hurt, or are you going to face your fear? I'm proud of you, Ace. Yeah. I forget how impossibly these halls were to navigate. Where is. Ah! <laughs> I forgot about those things. I always wondered what happened to those. Those. I can't get free! Hey, no! No use! Stupid arm! Stupid dog! Hey, uh, the taser was right! Me too! I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do it. This! It cut! Oh, damn, we got it! This! <sighs> memories. Just memories, nothing more. After several minutes of wandering and a heck of a lot of searching, at long last, I finally made it into Hector's office. Surely, if I were to find anything, any scrap of information I could use to find Hector's whereabouts, it would be here. Still, if there's anything worth finding here, it'll take me a bit to find. I don't have all night. Guess I better get to work. My search has been a success. Buried under mountains of old documents, paperwork, and unpaid bills, just as I had suspected, there was a small list of old warehouses owned by Heracles Engineering. Despite being slightly outdated, they would still prove to be useful. I was the world's greatest detective after all, as Elsie so thoughtfully pointed out. All I need to do now is cross-reference that with the recent warehouse usages from the other company documents I'd snatched, along with any recent rentings of warehouses within the city. With luck, and with the help of my lovely partner's impeccable skills, I should be able to find Hector's whereabouts in no time flat. Ha <laughs> ha! Peace <laughs> Cake. Mm. Ah. 
I dusted off the knees of my slacks as I got up from my fall. The dust particles floated effortlessly out of sight, unlike the guilt crushing my chassis in the way a vice crushes an orange. Still, I knew my emotions, irrational that they were, weren't the only things keeping me down. I was low on fuel. I knew for a fact I couldn't return to the thug house I once called an office to refuel, and I knew I wouldn't make it to Elsie's place before I ran out of power. At this point, there was only one person I could trust. What is it this time? Oh. Ace, you look terrible. Just let me in and save the insults, sir. <laughs> I'm fine. I still hate you for replacing my arm, among many other reasons. But I'm going to need to recharge, like, right now. Right. Well, don't stand there and try to look dramatic. Otherwise, I'll start selling tickets. Cut the jokes. Do you realize how late it is? It's 2 a.m. And look at you. You look like you haven't properly charged in days! It's cause I haven't. Been too busy. And really dead. You're one to talk. What are you doing up at two in the morning? Late night reading, if it matters. Got carried away. You got carried away reading for four hours. You've always gone to bed at 10 p.m. Exactly. What have you actually been doing, you crazy old coot? Ah, <sighs> fine. I stayed up to look out for you. Hmm. I'm touched. Uh, glad I have someone I can really rely on. Adelpha contacted me and told me what happened. She figured if you'd go to anyone, you'd go to me. Eh, 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 smart of her. You locked them in your office. Dant had to call his upkeepers over to move that bookshelf because they couldn't get out. Ah, so well, Jeff ran on it too. Should've known. Are you even listening to yourself? This is unacceptable, Ace. I locked them inside because they're criminals, Dad. Criminals working for a psychotic madman who wants to do everything in his power to ruin me. Yes, I'm well aware of what Hector's done. Cast told me everything. I always knew Hector never had the greatest intentions, but... I never thought. Huh. They never took you for the trusting type. Look, all those people, they're not my friends. They're liars. Everything Castellis told you was a lie. It was a cover to make him seem sympathetic to make people trust him and pity him. You gotta figure that out, Dad. Castellis is working for Hector. Well, thanks for the fuel. I'm glad I was able to recharge somewhere. Now, I need to get back to work. I need to find my partner and finally bring Hector's little house of cards down once and for all. See you around, Dad. Is that what Elsie's been telling you? Is that what she's been telling you about Cast, anyway? That he's working for Hector? That he can't be trusted? How do you know about Elsie? Cast told me about her during our little visit. What did he say? Nothing good. From the sounds of it, she's little more than a manipulative and toxic figure in your life. She is not. It's just more of Cast's lies. Elsie's an angel made into metal. She's a doll. She's the light of my life. I would be nothing without her. Let me guess. She told you that as well? I... Sh that's irrelevant! Irrelevant how, exactly? And here I thought you found emotions irrelevant. Not every emotion, just the bad ones! The bad ones. Yes, the bad ones. Do I really need to repeat it again? You know the ones. Sadness, remorse, guilt. They serve no purpose other than to needlessly bog you down. Bog me down. Holding me back. That's why you removed that part. Excellent choice, as always. Ace, no. How am I wrong? My removing that was a mistake at best. Incorrect. Mistakes imply imperfection, which neither of us happen to have. What makes you think I'm perfect? What? No. <laughs> why are you asking? Are you implying my programming is faulty or something? Yes. Uh, no. No, you're supposed to say no. You programmed me to be just exactly. like Exactly. Then why are you saying I'm faulty? Look. Look. 
You're missing the point. I never... Do you remember miss- the incident with your emotion chip around a month? Around a month after I was built, yes, with the feedback loop, which is entirely unrelated, given I was feeling panic at the time rather than sadness, and believe me, I can still panic. <laughs> which, you know, if you locked me in a room with Castellese, who has escaped, by the way, so thank you for reminding me. Anyway, argument invalid. Listen. I've done nothing but listen, in case you haven't noticed. The one thing you didn't program me with is the ability to shut off my audio receptors. So rest assured, I am listening. Fine. But do you know what I did program you with? What? Debug 133-341-585, deactivate voice box. Oh, you must- I'll reactivate it once I've said my part. But until then, think very hard about what I've said. Um, Mr. Addison? What is it now, Sydney? Well, I think I'm finished with the main processor. Good. Just the hardware, correct? I I admit, I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I told you I would be handling the software and programming. We need to make sure PDB-3 is working perfectly. Right. Would it help to say I only worked on the emotion chip? Well, good. Now I know what to review. There we are. Restrict until notification containing death of creator. Done. I think I'll give him a quick rename. PDB3 just doesn't roll off the tongue like I thought it would. This far into development? Yes. I don't suppose you'd have an issue with this. Yes, actually. At this point, if you try to rewrite the designation, it'll reset and he won't even know what he was built for. Eh, he'll come around in time. And here we are. Attach this to his skull while I prepare the fuel cell. (sighs) Sure. Fuel cell calibrated? Fuel cell calibrated, Mr. Edison. Good. Good. Should it work any second? Send him a jolt, Sydney. Sure thing. In all honesty, I should have paid attention to Sydney. Your processor was holding you back, and, well, I can only imagine how you must have felt after learning of her death. Don't you roll your eyes at me. See, that's exactly what I'm referring to. You didn't care, did you? You didn't feel any grief. Not initially. But that was the point for me back then. I now realize how petty I was acting. And I need you to realize that I'm trying to rectify that. I'm trying to make you rectify that in yourself. (sighs) You've grown beyond your programming at this point. You know how to. So... You have a choice before you. You can either change and end up better than I was, maybe even better than I could be, or you could continue to sink further into the same hole that I did. Right. Debug 133-341-585, activate voice box. (sighs) It's your choice, Ace. Please make the right one. I thought you were perfect. Wait! (sighs) Damn it all! (laughs) Edison really thought he could convince me that that I was imperfect, that Elsie could possibly be imperfect. It really has just been a setup all from the start. All of it has. Castellese has convinced my own creator that he's... (laughs) Whatever that was. Some sappy old man. It doesn't... it doesn't matter. I never needed him anyway. All he ever did was slow me down. He gave me this stupid damn arm. These stupid emotions. <laughs> he's... he's irrelevant. Yeah, he's irrelevant. It doesn't matter anymore. He doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is Elsie and the case. And now it's time to finish the case. And get back to Elsie. Get back to what matters 
what isn't irrelevant. Time to finish this. It couldn't. Miss me, doll? What? Ace? What are you- What am I doing here? Oh, you know, just in the neighborhood. Plus, I finally have the key to bringing Hector down. You... What? Already? You see, doll, you were right. Castellese was working for Hector. He was the leader of the anti-trio, and Adelpha and Dant and Dant's upkeepers were all in on it, too. Even Edison, but I'm not sure Edison realized he was being lied to. Cass, Dent, and a lot of them, they've been manipulating me from the day we met. Even from the very beginning, Hector's been out to get me. He knew. He knew! He knew that if there was anyone who'd finally bring him down, it would be me. And luckily, I have just the documents to do just that. Oh, do you now? <laughs> yeah. See... Once I confronted Castellese about all his lies, I, uh, I locked him out of my office and got out of the building as quickly as I could. Then, I had a realization. If there was any place to find info uh, I could use to find out where Hector was hiding, it'd be at his old base. The one I broke into the week before we met. And, and, guess what? They were there. All the documents I needed, all the information, it was all there. So I grabbed it, I uh, got quick refuel from Edison, and headed here. And now, we can solve this case once and for all. Impressed? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It's truly impressive. You really are the, the greatest detective in the world, eh, Ace? As much as you are the greatest flatterer. So, wanna finish this case once and for all with me? Yeah. Yeah. Let's finish this. Once and for all. So, um... Can I see that list, then? Here you go, pretty lady. Here. This warehouse down by the docks. See it? That's our place. How can you be sure? Oh, I've... been investigating this on my own, actually. Well, somebody really has been busy, huh? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get down there and shut this thing down. Uh, not so fast. We'll... we'll need to defend ourselves once we get there. Probably dozens of goons out there the closer we get. Or your little friends. <laughs> They're not my friends. Not anymore. Is that sarcasm, Mrs. Italy? <sighs> Come on. Let's go, you big lug nut. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, uh, much obliged. <laughs> you know, it's the first time you've called me that. I, uh, kinda like it, so, you know, if you wanted to kinda like... Maybe do that a little bit. I, you know, if, if you feel like it, I'm, uh, it's, it sounds uh, like. <laughs> uh. There it is, just past this alley. Let's do this. Uh, Elsie, no, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Don't get soft on me after all this. No, it's, uh, it's not that. I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> oh, did you now? I have known it for a while, but I didn't want to make myself tell you until later. It's about you. About us. We've learned so much about each other, shared so many secrets, and now we're going on our greatest adventure yet. Solving our greatest case yet. Well, infiltrating an enemy compound is certainly a dangerous... No, 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 not that. I guess what I'm trying to say is... You're my adventure, my case. Right from when we first met, every twist and turn, you've been with me through it all. You're kind-hearted and honest, and I can't say that for anybody else I've ever known. You really mean that, don't you? I do. I... well, 
Um, that's all I guess. I, <laughs> I just, I, I really care about you, judging from the last time that I rescued Cast, which must have all been a setup too. Actually, this will be dangerous, and I, I don't want to lose you. Just wanted you to know, just in case, or <sighs> whatever. I love you, doll. Let's go finish this case, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Let's finish the mission. What a shame. You... You... You were... You were the leader of... I... Thought... I could trust... You... I'm sorry. It... It was nothing personal. You're my mission. And, like you said, I... I needed to finish it. Hector? Sir? Are you there? I'm just outside. Ah, here is CRT. How wonderful to hear from you. Report? The mission's over, sir. Ace is... Ace is dead. Ah, excellent. You're everything I built you up to be. Now, get our little piece of bed inside. We have a trip to spring. Of course, sir. Right away. <laughs>